What do you say about this hike to novices like me? About to walk out the door for my next adventure in the North Georgia mountains. Don't have to go over that far from home for this one. Such an adventure in such a rustic setting does exist less than an hour and a half from Atlanta. This is, this bag is full of snacks. I got a lot of snacks. Granola bars and crackers. Okay. With there, I have plenty of snacks. Okay. <laughs> now begins the voiceover. This is the entrance to Amicalola State Park and Lodge where we started our journey. We pulled in and as you can see, the visitor center is getting quite a facelift, probably seven figures. That's our crew from the parking lot, and that is the elevation profile, which we'll see again in a minute. It's a steep hike at first. Start out on this bridge, yeah. walk a few Either hundred or yards, or don't know the difference. and then, as you see there at the very beginning, the second little jump up is very steep. That's when you start to go up the staircases that wind up Amicalola Falls. We kept walking and walking and eventually reached this. It's more majestic in person, but as you can see, and pretty steep. Here is the top of Amicalola Falls. We continued into the woods and here's the interview what do with you our say leader. About this hike to novices like me. Just keep your chin down and your head in it and you'll be okay and just trust your preparation. Yep. What would you say about the appeal of it versus other surrounding hikes? Oh. This is really close to the, Atlanta. You, you have the you have the waterfall on there. That's my and the shelter at the end. Nice place to stay. That's our palace. This is our yellow brick road, and that's our palace. Oz's pa what am I? What am I trying to say? At the end of the Wizard of Oz. Don't go behind the curtain. Something like that. We stopped for lunch more than halfway through the hike after about three and a half hours, and had chicken Caesar wraps prepared by our leader Maxi. Then we kept on the trail. The second half of the first day was much easier. We stopped about every 45 minutes. Not necessarily because we were too tired, but because we were pacing ourselves. At one point we came to a spring, which occurs when the water causes a natural flow of groundwater onto the earth's surface. We refilled our water packs, put bacteria clearing capsules in there, there's the spring, so that we didn't get sick. The water did not look pristine in our containers, but it hydrated us nonetheless. The next segment, shows us reaching our accommodations for the night. It's called the Black Gap Shelter. There it is. This kept us from having to sleep in tents, which would not have been a major imposition, but if given the chance to pitch a tent or not, we chose not to. There's a privy about 100 yards behind the shelter, a place you can relieve yourself instead of having to dig a hole. I did not get any action footage for this part, and I hope no one asks. We then hiked to the top of Springer Mountain. How do you describe getting to the top of the mountain? Invigorating. How many of the highest summits have you been to in the United States? 36. Impressive. What would you tell people that don't hike that much about coming up here? I think the air is cleaner and your thoughts are cleaner too. Damn right. So this is the beginning of the trail. And the trail started in what? I'm recording. That was the trail started in 1930? 30 is yeah. somewhere in the 30s. Somebody had an idea. Early 40s. And people just, the states and federal government just maintained it together? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. As you can see, we timed our arrival and time on Springer Mountain and the top of it perfectly. And the hike down was fairly yeah. dark, but we had the help like of it. headlamps and flashlights, for which we only lost two batteries. Oh, the, we continued down the mountain, 
among a pretty luminescent sky. And finally, eventually, you can see us walking down here, arrived back safe and sound at the Black Gap shelter, hung out for a little while, did what you might do at a campsite, which included making s'mores, as cliche as that might be, and then we went to sleep. Here's a quick shot of our man Maxie doing his thing, making us breakfast. Here's a quick explanation of our hike. As you may know, the Appalachian Trail extends 2,200 miles, and Springer Mountain is the origin point, as stated earlier. It goes through 14 states. It was proposed in 1921 and completed in 1937. After more than a decade of work, improvements and changes have continued since then. As you can see here, we varied our way back. So where the looks like is a connected shape of sorts shows the difference in our hike there and our hike back. On our way back, we went through to what's called the Hike Inn. It's not accessible by anything other than foot. A lot of people choose to stay there if they don't dare to hike as far as we did. You see, it's called the Lynn Foot Hike Inn. People stay there all the time. This was an epic hike, and I highly recommend it. If you fancy yourself someone who's in good enough shape to make the trek, doesn't want to travel out of state if you live in Atlanta or close by, and you want an adventure for the weekend. Ending here, signing off, and we'll see you on my next adventure.